Turning to Winona County, El Tura's ambulance service has been facing staffing shortages for months. This could lead to the entire service shutting down. KIMT News Series Max Haslow shows us how this could affect patients in emergency situations and what's being done to keep ambulances serving the southeastern Minnesota community. El Tura ambulance service has been working in the community for over 50 years. Without enough staff to fill a full 12-hour service, it could soon be losing its license. Despite the service's 12 volunteers working around 100 hours a month, Altura Ambulance has gotten two strikes from the Emergency Medical Service Regulatory Board due to not being able to staff a full shift. One more strike could lead to its license being revoked. Director Jessica Romine says her service is one of many rural ambulance companies unable to fill spots. A lot of our crew members now are kind of struggling with prioritizing the ambulance over family um, and vice versa. One of the goals of Altura is to get more emergency medical responders into the service. Though they can't respond to calls by themselves, EMR training is much shorter than the emergency medical technician's training. Romine tells me she would pair each new EMR with an EMT on staff. If we got five to 10 more EMRs, we'd be able to split our EMT crew in half. Um, and then that would mean half the call time, which is ultimately the goal. The director also tells me legislators and regulators taking away the licenses of rural services because of staff shortages does more harm than good. She says something is always better than nothing. In El Tura, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Altura Ambulance is also discussing paying volunteers for the entire time they're on call. Currently, they're only paid when responding to an emergency.